Hello, everyone. It really is a privilege. It feels like a privilege to be able to stand here and share with you my experience so far. Uh, it's been six months, and I am a part of the Bachelor of Commerce online program. I live in Victoria, um, but I chose to do the online program because I work full time. I am currently the manager of operations at a digital print shop in Victoria. Uh, I've been with this company for 12 years now. I started at the bottom as a customer service representative. Uh, my previous school experience, I was uh, in the zoology program at the University of Guelph. I completed two years and then wasn't quite sure that I wanted to continue down, down that path, so I moved out west about 13 years ago. And I always intended to continue my schooling, so Royal Roads was on my radar. Um, I investigated as well UBC and uh, Simon Fraser and UVic, of course. Uh, Royal Roads, I visited the campus many times, fell in love with it. If you haven't been there, you should definitely visit. Um, and I was intrigued by the environmental science program that I hope Matt Dodd's going to talk about a little bit. <laughs> and so I started at this company and I realized eventually within a few years that I really loved business. And I started with this company when it was beginning. It was about a two-year-old company. It grew very quickly in, an, in a small number of years. And it we bought and sold various portions of the company. Um, it went through many changes. I grew with the company, and I find myself in this position, this manager of operations position. So I feel like I have the real world experience, and I had I had the feeling in myself that I would have I, I would like to round out that experience with the education, and I was also given advice by my peers and by some of my mentors that they thought it was really a good idea that I do round out this experience, and I knew several people who had been through the Royal Roads Bachelor of Commerce program, both online and on campus, and they encouraged me and they said, you know what, you can do this, you can work full time, and you can complete this program and you can do well. Um, they're they say it's about a 20 hour a week commitment and I do stress that I think that's accurate and it needs to be a 20 hour of focused work in a week. So my, my job is very demanding. I definitely am there eight hours a day if not a little bit more. Uh, but I devote two nights a week to my studies and I started doing homework at home and now I actually go to a library and I do work there for a few hours, uh, a couple of nights a week. And then Saturdays and Sundays are devoted to to my studies. So it's important, I think, that your family is supportive of this, that your family and friends are, are engaged with you. It is a commitment for two years. Um, the experience itself, uh, you do, it starts off with a residency, a two-week residency on campus, and this gives you the opportunity to meet the students that you're going to be working with for the next two years. So what you, what you do there, the school actually introduces you to the academic world, if it's been a while for many of us, or uh, maybe it's just a refresher for you if it hasn't been that long, but they reiterate how to write academic papers, for instance, that's something we, we worked through. And you formulate teams immediately, and really that two weeks is about meeting these people and learning how to work in groups, because that is how you will operate for the next couple of years. So we do our courses online. Uh, they last about uh, 10 weeks, let's say on average. And as I was explaining to some people, it really is divided into manageable sections so that you won't find yourself two months down or, or let's say eight weeks into the program and realize that you haven't actually done your reading and now you've got a, a million things to do before your exam. They break it into almost weekly assignments, weekly readings, um, weekly discussions with your team and there's various projects that your team and you are responsible for, for submitting. And they're worth a fair amount of your overall grade. So it is important that you learn to work in a team. These, these people that you're going to be meeting and working with um, are going to be your lifeline for, for the rest of the, the year. Um, I've already made lifelong friends, as you allude to. And the support from these people is unbelievable. So as work, and, and most of the people in my, in my cohort are all working full time. Many of them have families. Um, so you support each other. In a particular week, if someone has more commitments than someone else, uh, as long as you're communicating, uh, basically you're, you're okay to maybe step, step out for the week and have somebody step in for you for that week and then you would step up and help them the next week. And this is sort of how, how the weeks go by very quickly. Um, 
you, what else can I say about that? Um, I think one, one thing I'd like to share with you too is just how, how I have surprised myself so far. And I, I've gained an immense amount of confidence standing up here talking to you today is an example of that. Um, but I feel that, you know, I didn't really know if I could do this with all the other commitments I have in my life. And so far, I have been able to, and I, I imagine that it might get a little more difficult as we go along, but time management, you know, once you figure out how to manage your time and you realize your support network and who you have to work with, and that's the faculty as well, the teachers are amazing. You do a lot of online discussion with your teams and your peers, but the teachers are there for you. And it's not that you're, um, they're there for you by phone and by email, anytime. All of the teachers I've worked with so far have been very open-minded like that. And there are opportunities as well to have um, classes that are online. It's called an Illuminate session, I think, if it's still called Illuminate. Uh, but you log in and the teacher can load a PowerPoint presentation or they could be speaking to you with a, a whiteboard that they may demonstrate problems on. Your class is also logged into this at the same time. And so you're all listening to the teacher as they run through a problem, for, for example. You're welcome to ask questions during this period. It is like being in a classroom when you're not actually there. And they record these sessions. So if you are unable to make a particular session, often they're set a particular day of each week, they will record the session and you can then go to uh, the online site, it's called Moodle, and download the actual class and replay it for yourself. And again, if you have a question, you could email the teacher or actually phone them and, and they'd be responding very quickly. Um, overall, I'm so excited. I'd, I could stand up here and talk to you for forever about uh, the exciting things I'm doing. Okay, one more thing. <laughs> there are an immense amount of extracurricular activities. Um, I'm imagining maybe a lot of you are from Vancouver or maybe even from Victoria. Um, so Royal Roads is very involved in the community. And so far, I've only been there for six months, uh, but I've, I've managed to participate in a number of amazing opportunities. One was a, a global transmission conference. Uh, this has been taking part in Victoria for a number of years. Uh, it's basically digital media and the future of digital media. And so Royal Roads, you get an email as a student and it says, would you like to participate in this conference? So myself and 13 other Royal Road students, some MBA graduates, some alumni, some new students like myself, we went as reporters and we were given the opportunity to partake of this conference, uh, kind of a beh behind the scenes look, and we were given the opportunity to enjoy the, the meals along with the rest of the, the candidates. It was, it was, I think, a $1,300 or even $1,800 participation fee to to be a part of this conference and we were given the opportunity for free. We had a little bit of work to do. We had to do some reporting and submit a paper at the end, but it was just an amazing experience that I wouldn't have heard about except through the program. Also, being a local person, a local student, um, I'm currently partaking of the case competition team, which is a very heavily sort of business um, oriented competition that Royal Roads is very well known for. We actually have our own competition coming up at the end of March. If anybody's around, you should come, come check it out. It's gonna be really interesting. We just got back from Montreal. Uh, this was an international competition. Um, Royal Roads placed very well, and I, I like to run off the top six, just to give you an idea of the, the caliber of the teams and the places that we were competing with, but Amsterdam, uh, the school there came first, Hong Kong came second, Alberta came third, um, Sao Paulo, Brazil came fourth, Barcelona, Spain. Uh, it was just an incredible experience, and again, um, I hope to have the opportunity to do more of this in the future. So I look forward to answering any questions you have. Thank you.